Yo, what is up, guys? It is Al Amazing Skater here. <sighs> I always feel like I say that weird, like I don't say it right. But anyway, uh, this is Al Amazing Skater, and this will hopefully be up on EGS when you're watching this, or my regular channel. Sorry if you can hear the mic moving around, but uh, my mic is all messed up and broken because my brother's stupid. But anyway, uh, I feel so bad for putting out Black Ops because. I've gotten a, a message and stuff saying that they don't want to see Black Ops, I don't see MW2 or Battlefield Bad Company 2, and I'm really working on that. It's just that for Bad Company 2, I don't mind about getting a bad KD. It's just that uh, the games are super long, so I don't want to comment. I don't want to uh, commentary them. Uh, one, because no one wants to watch a super duper long video, and two, because it's just going to take a lot of extra work that will probably not pay off. So, I do not want to do that much Bad Company 2, unless I can do just one round of, like, Rush, like, where it'll just be like, we're defending one base, or we're attacking one base. I can do that, or something like that, but, uh, you guys can just tell me that, and, um, on over 2, uh, I'm, I'm building up my skill in that game, I used to be super terrible at it, so I'm just trying to build up my skill. I, I do go positive most of the time, but it's, it's... It's whatever, you know. And what I want to talk about today is I've, uh, I saw Brett21492. Yes, I finally got that. I can never get the numbers right. 21492's video on originality and how scarce originality is in this world and how hard it is to be had. Because, well, what I thought of it as is he says originality is a ghost town. And what I'm saying is it's not exactly a ghost town, but it's more of a, a feared thing no one wants to be original well of course you want to be original but you're scared of what it's gonna resolve to and what the results are gonna be you're gonna afraid that you're afraid that the results of it are not gonna be as good as you want them to be because um, originality in my definition of it is something that no one does something that no one else does something unique and special of its own type and something that no one else does people might think well if no one else does it then maybe no one will watch it which I think is a very uh, good argument to, to think of but I do it anyway I, I try to be as original as possible you can't really be original putting up COD gameplay but still I try to be original in my commentaries because when I when I make my videos and when I make commentaries I want them to be focused mostly on being commentary based not gameplay based I do, I do give you guys decent gameplays, in my opinion, they're at least decent, but I do not, I, I don't give you excellent gameplays, or, well, for one, I don't give you excellent gameplays because it's very hard for me to get excellent gameplays, but also because, I don't know, I feel that the expectations for YouTube are way too high, because people who have uh, deaths over... 10 or even over 5 at the, in this case, they can be considered hated on and people don't like it. I mean, if you think about it, it's, it's good and bad in its own way because it could be good because if everyone, if the expectations were low and then everyone would just be posting up gameplay and the YouTube would be taken by storm of people of, with useless commentaries and useless videos and stuff like that. But it's bad because then people who are are interesting people and have good commentaries can't give out good commentaries or watchable commentaries because people there's a lot of people who will watch it for the gameplay and if the gameplay isn't good enough then they won't watch it but I think that that person deserves a chance because they're a good enough commentator so originality is very hard to be had but I try to do it I mean, I what I think of is I I just do what I want, I'm, and I'm just gonna keep putting up videos who what I think is decent. And if you guys don't like it, then you don't like it. But if you like it, then that's awesome. So uh, this is hopefully up on EGS right now. And if you're watching this on EGS, please go to my channel and subscribe. Uh, I have 35 subs at this moment as we are speaking, and it's 2:23, September 7th, 2011, on a Wednesday, I believe. So, woo! Let's get this. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, 
I mean, my future of my channel will uh, be most likely COD gameplays, and I will, I do plan on finishing my Alan Wake Let's Play, even though it is not getting any response whatsoever. I don't think I have any, I think I got one like, and that's from my friend who I told to watch it to see if it was good or whatever, and he liked it, so he liked it, and I don't really count that, but it's just, um, I don't know what to do, I don't know, like, what will get out there, because my first video that I put up, uh, it got some pretty good mm, views, well, not, it got 45 views, and that's not, that's not good really but uh it got likes and it got comments and it people really helped me with what i should do what i should improve and all and stuff like that and they told me i should get a pvr and i do plan on getting a pvr but i just don't want this i don't want to waste money on this you know i do plan on doing this as long as possible no matter how how uh how famous i guess i could say i get because i just i love doing this it's fun and uh, I want to be able to say that I tried. I want to be able to say that that I wanted. I tried something and I worked hard at it because I do work hard at this, guys. That takes me about uh, two hours to upload a five-minute video, you know. So it really sucks, and but it doesn't suck because I get that sense of confidence and accomplishment, I guess you could say, at the end of the video. So hopefully you guys are enjoying my commentary so far. I always, I always ask for some advice on what I could improve on and what I should change and what I should take away and what, should I, what I should do differently because I always feel that there's room for improvement no matter what and I always try to look at things as a two-sided or as many sides as possible because I think that thinking having the mindset that uh, you could always improve is good and bad at the same time because it's good because you're always thriving to do something better thriving to put out better content out there but it's bad because then you know it may over over you and you that's that's gonna be all that you ever want and you know that's 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 not that's not a good thing so uh, <laughs> I don't yeah but I always try to look at things differently so I do I do know I can improve based on the fact that I'm not putting HD video out there and that I do get more than 10 sets because if everyone else is putting out better content than you then why should people watch you anyway guys this has been our amazing skater and I always feel I say I feel like I say guys weird and I feel like I say amazing skater weird. I don't know why, but this has been our amazing skater killer Johnson 13 is my GT and uh thank you guys for watching this. I love you so much. <sighs> Bye. Man they probably got on the mic.